if chat gpt is still your only go-to conversational ai in 2024 then you are outdated in this ai game because there now exist several conversational ais that the big boys in the ai are using but worry not, because in this video, I'm going to be sharing five best alternatives to Shark GPT that even offers you free access to GPT-4 that is premium on Shark GPT and lots of other advantages over Shark GPT. One of these AI tools actually got me so addicted, I forgot the existence of Shark GPT. Watch this video to find out which one of them. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. If you always rely on the response of just one conversational AI like ChatGPT, then you might actually be setting yourself up for some errors. What I always advise and what I do is to try out one prompt in several chatbots just to find the one that gave me the best response or to even have a combination of responses to now form an original response so if you're still using chat gpt alone in 2024 then like i said you're quite outdated but in this video let's look at some of those latest chatbot technologies that is way better than chat gpt and you can also use them for whatever purpose that you need or you use the chatbot technology for Hey guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Frederick and this is FNI SBC. If this is your first time watching a video on my channel, you're welcome. Do make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you join our community of people who use their smartphones productively and profitably. And if you are a returning viewer or even a new viewer, one of the best ways to appreciate this video, especially the new information you're about to be getting from this one, is to hit the thumbs up button down below so the algorithm can get to share this video using your engagement with more viewers like i said that one of the ai chatbots that i'm going to be reviewing in this video got me so addicted because it is so 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 cool i'm going to mention that as the last so we're going to go from the least good to the best of them in this fight all right first on the list is the top ai all right as you can see it says hi i'm pop as your best ai assistant i can read now one of the beautiful things i like about pop is that it gives you examples of the type of prompts that you can give okay so the first one what is the answer to an image which means that it can also get to respond or interact with images the next one explain the concept of in the photo how to use this product help me read. so pop is more like a, you know talks with images more than with test sort of all right and i think it can also be able to have access to um files all right i do not have any file on this but it says help me read this file so if i tapped on it it went to get the file on my browser okay but i do not have any file here so let's just try so you can see that you can also have access to gpt4 and there is a feature called the boost feature all right that helps to boost your questions you know help to make your responses way much better but this feature is not actually entirely free it just gives you access to like um i think 10 times response every day all right if not you then go back to the 3.5 gpt okay so let's say um write a youtube video write a youtube um scripts about best five alternatives to chat gpt all right i i know i'm supposed to add more but let's just stop here so another thing the application is only available for ios if not you can always go through the pop ai um website to have access to them if you're using an android phone all right have it all completed this is quite long and this is quite detailed right this is quite detailed okay so we, we started out with the hosting camera hey tech enthusiast and all the way to the bottom all right so you can also try out pop ai whether you're downloading it as an app on your iphone of course or you're just using your windows or your browser to get access to it but pop ai is quite fascinating and i also would recommend it but then like i said the last one in this list is one of the one is the one right that blew my mind and trust me it's also going to blow your mind so keep watching 
Now, this next AI is quite helpful if you are interested in using the AI board for research or whether you're an educator or a student, this is quite your go-to chatbot technology because it offers you references and some sources where you can go to do some reading up of whatever thing you were searching up on. And it also has Gemini Pro actually because it can it have access to YouTube, can get to pull up some sources or resources for you from YouTube. So if you're doing a research as a student or you're doing your project work or seminar work, then Perplexity should be your go-to chatbot technology. Now on Perplexity, like you, you can see that this is already an application on my phone. It can also interact with images. When you tap on this button and just upload whichever image that you want, it can, you know, get to interact with images. But that feature is not for free then over here you can see that you can also be able to interact with the voice to test uh, method all right of asking your prompt okay when we tap on ask prompt you're going to see you, it can serve as a co-pilot over here and then when you tap on the focus you can see that um it, if you're into academic research so this is the button you click if you just to write anything at all this is the button then the wolfram alpha the youtube if you want to discover from a youtube video this is the button and then the reddit all right so that is why i said that this is quite fascinating especially in terms of research let's try to do this so um write a youtube video script on five best so i'm going to use this particular prompt for all of the five best alternatives to chat gpt okay the audience the audience are tech enthusiasts all right tech enthusiasts and um ai enthusiasts as well all right this is for a tech youtube channel all right it kind of took some time to come up with this but i want to believe that probably is my network that caused it because it doesn't usually do this all right so now you can see some um the response the type of response that perplexity gives all right now when you come over here you can see sources you can see different sources and of course it has access to the internet has access to search engine in fact i would prefer to use perplexity for google search than google itself right now you can see 10 best alternatives so these are from different places that have already done a kind of video or a kind of or talk on this so it help it's going to help you in you know doing the research of whatever thing that you're searching for now in the answer it says five best alternatives to as a tech enthusiast um blah 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 so it gave all of this right now when you still go down you're going to see another one that says related what are the unique features of each of these so in case you still want to you know dig deeper and deeper to learn more about whatever thing you're having the conversation with the bot with all right it can still give you some related topics to go further all right so these are still some video results that it also gave of down here all right so you can try out um this perplexity in the place of chat gpt when you are doing a research that requires the help of a chat bot technology now next on the list is the one that i was quite impressed with because i like to use ai chat bots that has a lot of features especially the image generation feature and can also chat with the data and chat with document and chat with images and that is where this next ai chatbot technology comes in and that is called forefront forefront ai all right so i access this via the website forefront.ai okay now as you're looking at now you can see that it has access you can turn on the internet browsing so it can get access to real-time data or real-time information or give you access to real-time um give you access to real-time information all right unlike the free version of chat gpt that does not have access to the internet all right now when you come you can see the internet brand the assistant okay you can see can also chat with documents so you can upload the document and just ask for a summary or break it down into bullet points or ask for highlight or whatever just this makes it very easy for you to scroll through or read a very long pdf file very long document with ease the next one you can also chat with images all right it can chat with images 
and also can chat with data so for all those that you know do the data analysis thingy right you can upload your data or your excel sheet into this and just ask for feedback or for analysis of what the data is about and lastly is the generate image all right so you can also generate image so up here i'm going to tap on the plus sign to start my prompt so i'm just going to write um the same thing that i asked perplexity then over here you can see that you can get access to the gpt 3.5 just like chat gpt but the gpt 4 is quite premium all right but you can also get access to cloud all right cloud instant 1.2 okay and then you can get access to forefront that's its own um model large language model all right so let's try to use the cloud instant 1.2 and send okay let's see what we are gonna have here so you can see searching the internet so here is a draft script for a five best alternative to chat gpt okay hello everyone and welcome to another tech video today we are taking a look at some of the best alternatives to this and you know it goes on and on and on and on on and on so you can see how it was able to break it just the way i did here i didn't use this by the way just the way i did here it went from number five to number one all right you know for the sake of creating software because we said this for a youtube channel right so it went from five four three second and then the last one all right so in summary why chat gpt is great these five alternatives from anthropic are also worth checking out all right so it said anthropic because i'm using cloud you know cloud was generated or was built by anthropic all right so i use cloud so if you still don't like this you can still switch to another model to see how your response is going to look like in that model so this is quite fascinating and i really 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 would recommend that you check out forefront ai especially for the image generation i tried the image generation and the result wasn't bad i know i should be doing it right now instead of saying it but that's where your role comes in go try it out and let me know what you think about forefront image generation in comparison with mid journey okay second to the last on our list is the one we should already know which is claude by anthropic right so we have claude the application of claude actually and everybody already says a lot of great things about the cloud ai and it's really awesome and a really great alternative to to chat gpt before now cloud wasn't available to some countries like my country nigeria but today we now have cloud in nigeria and this is why you should jump on it also and compare it with chat gpt okay so cloud again runs on the cloud um cloud ai all right which is different from the gpt all right so when we come over here and we tap on write a script okay for youtube now there was something that claude did when i asked for this okay let's see if he's going to still do it wow it was quite fast very very fast okay i'll give it to it right now claude in trying to explain the or talk about the alternatives to chat gpt actually considered itself as the alternative to chat gpt okay but this time because i said five okay it's now given me more like the google lambda and the uh, microsoft science I, I haven't actually checked this out before and the alexa price social board and of course it started with itself which is anthropics cloud cloud is an ai assistant created by to helpful blah 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 all right so yes that's one thing about it it says that it's helpful it's harmless and it's honest right helpful harmless and honest which is what it builds on conversational ai technique all right like chat gpt okay so it also gave the pros and the cons all right and when we go to the other ones that it also gave here which was quite um awesome and then it gave us an outro okay now talking about other features of pro of cloud when we tap up here you can see that you can actually also upload files so let me try to upload the file or a document just for you to see how this works all right i have a document that i'm uploading you can see that it says pdf test csv all right so we have a document here and i'm going to say summarize this document in five bullets points all right and we send okay so it's not just the documents though 
it's quite responding so fast like this is quite amazing okay so he said here is five bullet point summaries of the document digital productivity days and and you know in five sentences right or in five bullet points and it did quite amazingly well because that is literally what that document is talking about smartphone enable tech careers like and so on so this is quite amazing guys and you should be checking out claude right about now and now to the best of best of them all that really got me crazy is this new ai chatbot technology that brought together a lot of things into one place and again this ai technology also gives you the feature of creating your own chat but this is mind-blowing and that is the pool i hope i called it right the pool or pool the pool pool <laughs> the pool ai all right now the pool ai does not just give you access to assistant that is the test based um conversational ai but you have access to a lot of things like the image creator the english um teacher the photo creator university chat gpt logo sebastian and it also offers you the opportunity to chat with important characters that you might want to hear from all right this is quite awesome you can see that you also have access to the gpt4 now the next one is the playground ai it also offers claude dal e and stable diffusion and a whole lot all in one place okay now when we go to that button over here you can see that you can create your own bot all right you can create your own chat bot over here all for free yes all for free okay so when we still go back you can see there are a lot of things that you can explore on the poor ai and i really want you to go check it out right away i want you to check it out right away okay so all these places you can see the hyper realistic the python ai for programming that's for coding maybe we should select gemini pro and see how it does all right so let's drop the same prompt that we used okay so let's see oh wow that was quite fast as well so we have best five alternatives to chat gpt i think that having pool is like having all of the ai chat models in one place and that is one of the things that i would say that you know really made it quite fascinating that really made it quite fascinating okay so when we go over to the image creation um let's look for an image creation here like an anime let's try to use the animal sl all right and try to say all right so let's see what we are going to get from this this is the anime style oh yay that's it all right so we can see an anime of an african boy with animals and in an amazon forest and you know a, a lot of them okay so this is pope Pro AI that you should try out. I know that a lot of you are already, if you've not heard of Pro, that you might want to rush right now and check it out. And it's actually downloadable. It's an application that you can download on your Play Store or your App Store. So now we have explored five awesome alternatives to ChatGPT. So I know that you were also trying it out while you were watching the video. So now I would like to know on the comments down below, which of these five best alternatives are you already aware of? And do you think should be the best alternative to ChatGPT for you? I would like to know in the comments down below. Please do make sure that you comment so I'll get to also learn from your own opinion. With this, Thanks for watching. If you are yet to get to learn about the Gemini Pro in GoogleBad and how it have made GoogleBad more efficient, then you might want to click this video to watch that. And also, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, do make sure to hit this button over here to subscribe. With this, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.